here we will show you two growth phases that you can choose to allow your object to grow in. And by following these steps, you can transform these ordinary objects into fascinating, alive, growing micromaterials. The first growth phase occurs inside the mold where the mycelium initially takes over. It myceliates the entirety of the substrate. So once you have all of your substrate, everything is ready in your mold, you're gonna place that container in a dark environment with a temperature range from 20 to 30 degrees, depending on what your fungi likes. You're going to have to do some of that research. The ideal temperature is around 27 degrees, and I'm talking Celsius here. But if there were any concerns about sterile work, a slightly lower temperature by, might be more suitable because contamination doesn't grow as quickly in less warm environments. Give your mycelium time to adapt to this new habitat, avoid moving it too often, and avoid lifting lids to look inside. I know it's really tempting. This phase typically lasts about five to 14 days, depending on various factors such as light, temperature, the amount of spawn, the species, the substrate type, so many different factors. So this is why documentation is really important so you can start to gauge what that process looks like and how long it takes. Next, you're going to monitor your growth. So observe your mycelium's growth during this phase. If you have a transparent surface that you can just look into, this is fantastic because as I mentioned, lifting lids is not ideal. We don't want to introduce any like air that could be contaminated into your mycelium object. And the objective here is to see primarily white mycelium without any brown or yellow spots or wet areas. This is all a sign of contamination. And as soon as you see this, it's best to try not to save it unless this is like a design but if you aren't looking for that, then it's best to toss that and start the process over again. It's very difficult to try to rescue an object once it's been compromised. Once this stage, you see a healthy white layer of mycelium indicating that it's time for the next step. You can stop here if you'd like. Your mycelium material will be completely covered and it's perfectly fine to dehydrate at this point. However, in the second stage, you might add on a layer um, like a skin around the object, and this can be really interesting too. So once you allow your material to grow outside of the mold, you allow the mycelium to strengthen and develop further. First, you'll have to remove the object. So open your mold very carefully and remove the object. Handle it with care. It's still very fragile because it has a lot of water content. And if you used foil to line the mold, the object should be protected. So it's easy to lift up from your mold. Then you're going to place your object in a new clean plastic bag or with a dome around it that could be another container as you see in the video and then close this environment either with tape or with a paper clip. The object will continue growing under the same conditions as in the first growth phase, so nothing has to change. You're basically just allowing your mycomaterial to grow mycelium in those places that were pressed up against your mold. So therefore mycelium could not grow outside of those boundaries. Let the object grow inside of this container or halo or bag for another five to seven days. And during this time, the mycelium is going to expand outside a little bit, creating a type of membrane or skin and strengthen. It's going to create a solid structure on the surface of your object. And there are a few things that sh you should keep in mind throughout this process. Always organize and prepare ahead of time to ensure that you are doing this in a smooth way and that you are confident in the process that you want to achieve. Um, also regularly observe the growth and progress of your mycelium material, monitor that there is no contamination, monitor the temperature and adjust daily as needed. Stay super present with your object. 
stay focused during the incubation process to minimize risks of contamination and to also just give your materials some love and attention. And that's it. Again, once your material has completed the second stage of growth, at that point, you're ready for dehydration if you're happy with that. Um, another artistic choice that you could take is to just allow it to grow for as long as possible and perhaps even fruit. 